वेलकम टू माई चैनल हंसी क्रिएशन टूडे आई बी शोइंग यूर वेरी बिगिनर फ्रेंडली स्केच बुक आइडियाज एंड आई बी टेलिंग यूर फ्यू टिप्स फॉर बिगिनर्स टू हेल्प अंडरस्टैंड बेटर एंड पेन बेटर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद स्केचिंग फर्स्ट सो आई हियर मेड अ वेरी वेरी वेग आइडिया ऑफ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो बेसिकली देर आर स्मॉल स्मॉल बॉक्सेस आई मेड एंड आई एम गोन फिल दम अप विद द डिजाइन आई हैव so this is a very simple sketchbook idea we all can use it let it be anyone it may be a beginner or anyone i'll be telling you guys a few uh, tips and everything so you guys can do it well so let's get on with it and uh, i just asked a few people uh, to give me a color theme so one of them said purple and another told black so i think that's actually a very cool combination so let's get on with it one thing we need to remember always while sketching is that we need to make it super super light that's because whenever you know something goes wrong and you want to rub it then the mark may still see uh, be seen and it's going to look very 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 clumsy and we do not want that right whenever you are happy with your sketch you can of course dark it up and outline it with a pen or something but whenever you are first starting up especially if you are a beginner you should never ever go with dark sketches because that may literally ruin everything and we do not want that to happen paints i mostly use acrylic colors acrylic colors are you know actually i mean i got habituated uh, to acrylic colors so it is quite simple for me to use it the only thing about them is they dry a little faster when you use it on fabrics and all and even on the paper so it must be quite quick in blending things else it's going to be a bit trouble for you But you know one thing even if your art got ruined somehow it ruined in the sense like maybe you know something happened and you do not like it or maybe water spill on it just you know instead of throwing it away try to think of an innovative way to make it even better that way it might turn into a new different art which the world has never seen trying to mix two colors what i would like to do is i'll add the two colors and then i dip my brush in the water and uh, this way i remove of the excess water basically my uh, sir when in my school they used to say to do it this way so the excess water comes off you know to the side you just do it like this so the excess water comes off and that way your brush will have the exact wetness what you require So what I do is, I take the I keep the brush this way and try to move it this way wherever I want it to blend, the two colors. So they start getting mixed up and the blending comes out however I want it. So I would recommend you holding your brush that way and using that water technique. So this is more helpful for you, especially if you are a beginner and uh, you are having problem trying to shade things or trying to do things. This is like one of the easiest way you can do. Black in between, 
um, this and uh, so I will go ahead and do the background black and I have a feeling that if I put like white dots in between here it would look much better so once I do the background I will think about it for uh, background I wanna go with light black shade um, so let's see depending upon that I'll decide whether I wanna put white dots here or not So I'll be showing you guys the final sketch what I got, uh, the painting. This is the final product. I think it did come out pretty well and I do like it of course. I think the flowers came out really well. I mean they add up a lot to the picture so I think it's quite easy and beginner friendly and good. And yeah, actually the color combination looks really good of purple and black. I like it actually. So, hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. Until next time.